Hello, it's Miss Marilyn. Ready for a little bit more working and learning? I hope so. Milo, are you ready for a little bit more working and learning? Yes, we're in the front yard. There's Milo. We have one, two boxes of things to do. One involves a book. And some fun inside. Oh, there goes the sheriff's department. Bye. The other involves alphabet letters, Relia, and cards. <gasps> Let's dig right into it. We're going to start with the book. It's a beautiful day. Look at that. We are under the shade tree. The sun is on the other side of the tree. We're enjoying some nice shade in the mostly blue sky. A little bit of stratocirrus clouds right there. It is a beautiful day. Let's see what we have first. Is anybody in need of the good morning song? Milo, are you in need of the good morning song? No? He turned his head to that one. I guess we won't do the good morning song then. Ooh, hopefully that won't be a problem. Let's get this out. It says on our front cover, a touch and feel book. Hi, Louie. Hi, honey. He's been in the weeds. Look at that. Hi, Louie. He wanted to come and say hi. He heard that it was a touch and feel book, and that got him. Yeah, that got you all interested, huh? He says hi. Let's get that foxtail out of your ear real quick. And out of your eye. Yes. Oh, my goodness. He's guessing. All right. We have, you can listen to, a touch and feel book. Animal Kisses by Barney Salzburg. What you're going to have to do for your feeling part is try and find something similar in the house with your families that you can feel. I'll describe the texture to you and then you can find you can find something that matches in the house. Like, ooh, Louie, he is soft. His fur feels so soft. Except for where the weeds are that I'm trying to get out of his ears. Nice and soft. So our front cover, the first item we're feeling is the cow's nose. Ooh, it is soft too. It's soft like Louie. So if you can find in your house some velour. Did you think that's soft, huh? Is that soft? If you can find some velour in your house, you will be feeling, yes, you will be feeling how the cow's nose feels. Yes, you come over here, Louie. You can come in my lap if you want. Let's open up the book. This is one of our VI books, so it has Braille on the cover. And I don't dare leave this too far because after last week's door of this hat, we don't want to have anything else eaten. Opening the book. In this particular book, it just gets right into the nitty-gritty. There isn't, there isn't a title page. And it says, do you like scratchy cat kisses? Let me feel this right here. Ooh. You gotta move your head a little bit there, Louie. We're talking scratchy now, not soft. So, the next texture that you need to get your family to help you find in the house, scratchy. If you could find something like mm, sandpaper, that would be perfect. That would kind of feel like a cat's tongue. Let's look inside our fun box here. Oh, moo, moo. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm he had a, get back to our front cover, cow. E-I-E-I-O With a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O 
Let's see if we can spell cow. K -k -k -k. Ow. I need a letter that makes the k sound. Let's see. Ooh. I'm going to spell it right on his face. C K O W. I think an O is in order. C O what C O. Let's put these alphabets in order, huh? Be nice to you guys. W. That spells. Cow! Ta da! There it is! There's cow! C O W. Cow! That comes in handy. I'm gonna put the letters back. Z hodgepodge of letters. Moo! Okay, we look back in our handy dandy box here. Because we had turned a page. You're looking for sandpaper. Do you like scratchy cat kisses? Oh yes. Meow. 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 Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm he had a cat. E-I-E-I-O. With a meow meow here and a meow meow there. Here a meow. There a meow. Everywhere a meow meow. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Let's see. Louie, do you want to see if we can spell cat? At. Cat. What do you think we need to milk? Milk to make those sounds. To milk it. Milk, milk it up and make some, make some uh, letters and out of these sounds and turn it into a word. Let's see. Because I have my uh, guide right there. Like cat. Look more closely. Cat. K -k -a -t. Cat. Okay, I got my C. I'm going to look for a letter A. Here's an A. And I'm going to look for T. C A T. There we go. Cat. C A T. Cat. There we have it. Wow. We built. We built the word cat. I'm gonna pick letters. I'm gonna put them back. We're gonna. Oh. Nature, Mother Nature turned the page for us and then turned it right back. Put the cat back in the box. Oh, sticky dog kisses. Ooh, a sticky dog kiss. Louie, would you like to give some sticky dog kisses, huh? Ooh, I need to get that out. Mm, there we go. Be careful with those weeds, huh? Get them out of you. Any sticky dog kisses? There's a sticky dog kiss. Yes. Okay. So, in your house, something sticky, if you have a glue stick, that would be perfect. Or something rubbery, too. When you think about that, I think that's a great idea, huh, guys? Dog. D, d, d. Ah. Uh, G. Dog. D, d, d. Og. Let's see if we have a dog in our box. We sure do. I got, I got two legit ones right here. And a stuffed one right here. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm he had a dog. E-I-E-I-O. With a roof, roof here and a roof, roof there. Here a roof, there a roof. Everywhere, roof, roof. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Let's put the dog right here. I got another one by my side. And you've hopefully got something sticky for a dog kiss that you found in your house. We're going to look for d d a g Dog. 
That's a D. D. I kind of put my foot on here. It's breezy. D, D. Ah, D O. D O. G. Dog. Dog. There's dog. Now, if we look over there, we see a few dogs. Hi, dogs. Hi. So if we want to turn our dog into dogs, to turn it into the plural form, we have dog. Maybe we want to have dogs. Let's see. Let's see if we can find what makes a sound. Here we go. Right there on the nose. Dogs. D. O. G. S. Dogs. Now we have more than one. Dogs. We could do that for cat and cow too. If we had those letters still out, we could put an S on there. Get those back. Put that back. Let's put the dog back. Let's turn the page. Fuzzy Bear Kisses. Rawr. Ooh. This is when you want to go into the bedroom and come out with a nice stuffed animal with really soft fur. That'll feel like Fuzzy Bear Kisses. So take a minute, go see what you have in your house to feel fuzzy bear kisses. I'm going to look in the box. Aha! Old McDonald had a bear. E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> you don't usually find a bear on a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Oh no you don't. Oh no you don't. But old McDonald had that bear. Rawr! E-I-E-I-O. My old McDonald. He's turning into a zoo. Let's see if we can find the letters to make the word bear. Look around here. We have D, B, E. Let's look for E. Do you see an E? I see an E. E. Okay, now we gotta find an A. Look for an A. Aha. A. It's kind of hard when they're in al alphabetical order, huh? They're just in a big old pile. You have to really think then. Okay, now we gotta find R. Right now we have B, like Aunt B. From a uh, Andy Griffith show, <laughs> B E A R bear. Oh, makes that R sound. I see it. B E A R bear. Fuzzy bear kisses. Yes. Suppose there's more than one bear. We wanted to have bears like we did dogs. What letter do we need to make more than one bear? S makes a s sound. Can you find it over here? S Your Q. Right there is the word Q. S Bears. There it is. Bears, but bears, more than one bear. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna put the bear back. I'm gonna move the letters over here. Let's put y'all back over here, letters. Put the letters down. Let us turn the page. Oh, velvety cow kisses. 
that takes us back to the front cover. So get your velvet back out, whatever you were using for velvet. And let's get our cow back out. Ooh, where's the cow? Get in there and look for a cow. Do you see a cow? Moo. Moo. Old McDonald still had a cow. E-I-E-I-O. Okay, let's put the cow right there. He might have more than one cow. He might have a few cows. So let's make cow into cows. So we gotta find the C. Look for the C. I'm gonna go right up here where the word Q is. I'm gonna put C. Ow. Ow. See the word Oz. But we need that O. C. O. Cow. W. 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 What letter makes the W sound? Ooh, I think I see it. And we're talking about more than one cow this time, because we already had the one cow. So, where, where is the letter that makes the sound? Where did it go? Right there. C. O W S Cows There you go Cows We have Cows Da 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 Cows Alright I'm gonna wipe these letters out I'm gonna put back over in the, the alphabet hump o letters if we had a pot of water and some veggies, it would be alphabet soup. Let's put the cow back inside of the box. Peekaboo, guys. Let's turn the page. Oh, rubbery fish kisses. This is where you might want to find a balloon inside your house. That might have that rubbery feel. This feels very much to me like a bicycle seat. If you have a bicycle seat handy, like people just have bicycle seats in the middle of their house, that would work. Something rubbery, even a rubber band, if you had a grown up helping you, would uh, give you the feeling of the fish lips. Yeah, I don't think we have a fish in our box. I could run into the garage and get one, but uh, I think we'll go with the picture. I think that's plenty, plenty, plenty good enough. Let's look in our little stash right here. Ah, aha, uh -huh. ask, ask and you, sh you shall receive. Got a fish. A dolphin to be more specific, but we're not spelling dolphin right now. We're we're spelling fish, so we're going to go the easy way out. Okay. Fish. The letters that we're looking for are right there. Fish. Alright. Do you see a letter F anywhere? It's so windy, it's hard to keep that book in, in, in one place. The box up a little bit, see if that'll help. Uh -huh, I think right there. Grab it. Start F. I. Short I. It'd be nice to each other, you guys, your brothers. Short I. 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 Do you see an I anywhere? Take a close look right there. Eh, eh. 
Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on this home farm, he had a fi, <laughs> fi. Maybe we better finish that, huh? I don't know if he had a fi, he had a fish. So, we need two more letters. Our little guide right there. Let's look for S first. See an S anywhere? I see a couple ants cruising around with the letters. I need to be careful and not get bit. I'm gonna grab the S before they run off with it because ants are very strong. F I S H. Ch -ch Ooh, do you see H? F I S H. There we go. There is the word fish. F I S H. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. And on this farm he had a fish. E I E I O. With a swim, swim here and a swim, swim there. Here a swim, there a swim, everywhere a swim, swim. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. I wanted to have multiple fish. I could, I could make fishes, or fishing, or fished. We could do something a little, a little different. Let's uh, let's pretend we're. Fishing, like we did last last week. Let's see if we can build the word fishing. F I S H. There's fish. I'm gonna have ing ing because if I had my rod and reel out, it would be fishing. Ing ing ing. Hopefully we have repeats, or this is gonna end very quickly. Fish-ing. There's an N. I don't think we have repeats. That's fine. Look for a G. G, G, G. G. We should, because I see two Gs right here. I think, I think we can do this. We just need a letter. Pick this back up. Put it down so our letters will stay. Fish-ing. Let's look around. Is that letter I? Yay! It sure is. Fishing. <laughs> we like to go fishing with a rod and reel. Fishing. It's a different way to build upon the word. Fishing. And if we're all done, say we did it all day, and we're finished, we could we could say fished. We fished today. With that, we need an E, and we need a D. Fished. We fished today. That's a past tense right there with an ED on the end. Ooh, we're learning so much today. We put these letters up. Back in the dirt. All right, we'll put our fish in the box for now, in case we need it again. Hopefully you found something rubbery in the house to feel the lips with. Squeaky pig kisses? I don't know. This feels like velour, kind of like the cow. But it squeaks. So now your job is to find something in your house that makes sound. Like a squeaky pig kiss. It's got Milo all excited, huh? Yeah. Let's see if we got a pig in the box. Oh, yes. We have a nice, soft pig right here. 
Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O. With a here and a there, here a, there a, everywhere a. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And I think. Oh, yes. Milo's very excited about this. You have to leave it there. It's mama, mama is educating. She's educating. You can't run off with this stuff. It's not, it's not play toys. It sounds like play toys, but it's not play toys. Excuse you. Pigs. One. Two pigs. How about that? I think we need to spell the word pigs. P-I-G-S. Pigs. Ooh, I gave a huge hint. So, think about the letters that I just spelt out. Pigs. And what letters do we need? Milo, you need to leave them right there. Mama is working right now. She is teaching. Yes, you have to leave them right there. They're not for you. You are in the yard and get your toys. That makes the sound. There we go. P. I, 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 I. Pig. P. I. Short I. G. 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 What letter makes the G sound? G. One is a pig, but because we have two here, we need to put s pigs. Pigs. This makes more of a z sound when you say that word. So many irregularities in the English language. There we have it. One, two. Two pigs. And if we want to count the picture, that, that, that would make for three. Pigs, three pigs. And then the quiet one. There we go. Pigs. This is just the most fun book, having such a good time. Put the letters back. And put the pigs into the box. Hi. Shut down a little bit. Let's turn the page. What kind of kisses do you like best? Do you like cow? Pig, dog, fish, or cat kisses the most. What kind do you like the most? Look at that. That was all of our choices in there. And our back cover. Do you like velvety cow kisses? Or do you like other animal kisses? I have something here that wasn't even in the book. Look at that. This is a nest, and inside the nest is an egg with a bird. A bird caring for the egg. We have three more words that we can spell out. First, let's do bird. We have nothing to guide us because it wasn't even in the book. We have to look for it. Cold turkey. <laughs> turkey. B, 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 b. We're spelling bird, not turkey. B, b, b. I think. Here's something that kind of kind of looks like it. Here's something that kind of looks like it. Here's another something that kind of looks like it. Look at that. Three very similar letters. They all have long parts and circles to them. 
but only one of them is right. Which letter makes the b b b sound? Think about it for just a minute. B b b. Which letter am I going to go to? B b b. Right there. B. This makes the p p sound, and this makes the d d sound. P and D. We have B, B, B. Okay, I'm going to put P and T back. Might, might need one of those letters later for the word bird. But right now, I just want to focus on the B sound. Alright, sorry there's interference with the book right there, but I don't have anything that plain that doesn't have any print on it unless I tip one of these boxes over. B, b, b. Err. I think it's going to help to have an I. Makes the r sound. R. D. 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 There you go. Bird. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm he had a bird. E-I-E-I-O. With a b b <laughs> here and a b b there. It's a very unique bird. Makes to make the b sound. B b here, b b there, here a b there a b everywhere a b b. Old MacDonald had a farm, e i e i o. <laughs> See, really, I can tweet. Okay, bird. Tweet, 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 tweet. Rocks in the treetop all day long, hopping and a bopping and a singing his song. All the little birdies on Jaybird Street love to hear the robin go tweet, 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 rock and robin, tweet, tweetity, rock and robin, tweet, tweetity, go rock and robin, cause we're really gonna rock tonight. Every little swallow, every chickadee, every little bird in a tall oak tree. All right, we got to spell some more here. Egg. Think about that one a minute. All right, you have a minute to think? Egg. Egg. Eh, eh, what makes the short e eh sound? You got those letters there. One of them makes that eh sound and more than one letter is what we need e egg g g g egg what makes the g sound g g g e e e g G, G. We need one more. Look around in there. Can you find one more G? One more G. Sure can. Right there. Egg. G. Egg. Every little swallow, every chickadee, every little bird in the wise oak tree. Singing about eggs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Singing about eggs. Ooh, ooh, little. They're all happily singing about their eggs. Woo! Hoo hoo! Egg. There's what egg looks like. E G G. Egg. What is the egg in? What is this called? Nest. Did you say nest? Nest. All right. Let's see if we can spell the word n n e s t. 
nest. Milo, can you spell nest? You want me to do it? Okay, he's, he's, he's busy. He's busy hunting right now. Since he can't have these toys. Nah, 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 nah. Ooh, I see a letter that we need. Do you see a letter that we need? Nah, nah, nah. I see a letter that we need. Makes the nah sound. N. Eh, eh, eh. Short E. Eh. Make it upside down right there. Nah. Nah. Then we need Makes the sound. I see a couple of them. And again, right up in there. Should I take the one on the left or the one on the right? Let's take the one on the left. Nest. Nest. There's T. Nest. There it is. Nest for our bird, nest. And I probably could have found that in our in our word cards right here because this, this is from this bag over here. But uh, it might have taken me a while to find the card. And we already had the merchandise. So there you have it, right there on the back cover of our book. Nest. Nest. Let's put our bird back into business, caring for its egg in the nest and I'm going to get out a couple of these cards for a couple minutes. Look at that. Let me flip the book over and it's long ways here. And this tells us the letters that we need to look for. G um gum. First of all, let's look in our bag here. See if we can find a couple things that might match. I'm going to grab two green items from here. Bubble yum, huh? I have one, two green items. Which one matches the picture? Here or here? What matches the picture? I'm going to set the Jeep aside because I think we have a match. And in fact, I'm going to put the Jeep back in the bay. And let's look for G. Um, so breezy, it's hard for the picture to stay there. All right. Check out those letters. That's as easy because all we got to do is straight match. G. G uh, uh, uh. Short U. U. M. 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 Gum. Ta da! There it is. Gum. Gum. Blowing in the breeze. Gum. That's so cool. We did it. Let's take these letters off. I'm gonna do one more. Let me put that back in the bag so it doesn't get lost in the yard. Look at this. We got a ooh, we got a couple of bonus ones right here. Two two big ones. Zipper or apple? Which one should we do? Zipper apple, zipper apple, zipper apple. Okay, I'm gonna mix them all up. I'm gonna blind blindfold myself. Now I don't have a blindfold on me, so I'm just gonna keep my eyes closed. I have no idea. That's the card we're doing. What is it? Zipper. Okay, I'm gonna put apple up. Then I'm gonna hold zipper with my leg. Got a lick in our bag for zipper. Gonna grab the two items here from the cards. One, one is a good fit. One will go with the other card. Which one matches the picture? Here, 
is our picture, are here. Here. And here. I'm going to set that aside because if you said this one, you are correct. There's our letters. Six letters. That is quite the word. Zipper. 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 Okay. Gotta look for z, z, z. Where do you see z, z, z? Z. E, e, e. Short I again. You don't have to look too far. Got our eyes right here. Z. Z. Makes these letters convenient with the long part in the circle. Zip. So we gotta repeat it. And something that's quite commonly confused. I'm gonna show you something. Especially if uh, dyslexia is a challenge for you. Uh, see, the tails don't match. This would be a Q or a B. So let me try another one with, with a little tail here. It can either be a D, D, D or the second P, P, P. Zip. Er. Look for E. Oh, look at that. Best. We are doing our best job working today. Funny how you can just find a word, but we need it for here. So I'm going to grab the E. I'm going to move it up over here. Zip. Er, we got a couple of them right close to each other. Zip. Er. Ta da! Zipper. How awesome is that? Zipper. All right, we're gonna do one more word. We're gonna do this one, and then we're gonna call it a lesson, because we have been at this for a while with the book. I don't wanna wear out our minds. So I'm gonna slide these letters over to here. So I can hear my dogs in the background. They would, they would like some of my attention and love. We're gonna grab the word apple. We already have our apple. The symbol of school and the teacher is the apple. So I feel that it is appropriate that we spell out this word. Yes, indeed. We're going to do it. Apple. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, look for what makes that ah sound. Ah. Ah. Short A. That's just like a zipper we need. So it'll stay put. It's a good thing we're ending this soon because let me try something here. A little science. See if that will hold the card more in place. It's very breezy at this time. Okay. Remember, it's gotta it's gotta be on the left side. That one's on the right, so we're not gonna choose it. For another one? Don't have to look too far. App. App. Like a phone app. But we have a LE on the end. Apple. Let's look for L. Is that an L? I think so. It's the L sound. Apple. Apple. Silent E is elementary for silent E. Ooh, my favorite. My favorite song from uh, my childhood, Apple. I might send that along with you guys so you can all enjoy it. There it is. E. Apple. Ta-da! Apple. We did it. A-P-P-L-E. 
pam 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 Apple! Yay! We are going to stop right there while our minds still are fresh and carry on with our day. And I just gotta say, hey, 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 until the next time. See ya later. See you later, alligator. Do, 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 do. Half the wild crocodile. Do, 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 do. See you later, alligator. Bye bye. So long. That's all. Do, 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 do. Bong.